All right, guys, Kyle here, and welcome to Magic the Gathering. Now, this is a card game, much like Pokemon, much like Yu-Gi-Oh!, but far older than either of them. It's a game I was really into when I was younger. Um, as I got older, just slowly got, just fell out of playing it. So, but this is that card game on mobile. And I think it's, I think it's on PC as well. But anyway, this is the, int the tutorial. So let's, uh, let's get through this tutorial as quick as we can here. So of course, you gotta play a land, which is what you use to play monsters. So we gotta play one of these, drag it up, and it'll go sit on the left there. <clears throat> and then it goes to our uh, creature casting phase, which we don't have enough land to summon anything, so we're gonna end our turn. All right, our turn again. We're gonna play this other land. And we're gonna be forced to play the Shrine Keeper. All right. Well, that's all we have. All right, so as you're looking at the card, excuse me, can I see the card, please? Stop. All right, I guess I'll have to wait till next turn. All right. All right, so it's going to play that. Damn it. Anyways, I mean, that's all I could do. But as you look at the card, the first number, so you, the 2-2 two, two in the bottom right corner, that's your attack and your power, your defense. Each creature card has one of those. Uh, each card will have an attack. Each creature card sorry, will have an attack, and each creature card will have a defense. The attack... So in this game, you have to attack the cards in order to get to the... the... the player. So... But we do need to play another land. There we go. Alright, and yeah, we're going to... So you can only attack once the creature has been all attacks. You can only attack after the creature has been out at least one, one turn. All right, and obviously being the first match of the game, it's going to be programmed for us to win. All right, touch and hold cards to inspect their details. Yeah, I know. Does he have an ability? No, wait, that one does. All right, so that's just a 2-2. Two -two. All right, so this one here... All right, that is the low Loox Odon line breaker. He's an elephant soldier. He's got a three two, so he's got an attack power of three and a defense of two. So he could take anything out with a three defense or lower, but anything with a two to two attack or higher can take him out. Same with those two guys. Uh, that we've already played. But we're going to play him. All right, and we're going to attack with the two twos. Why aren't they? Okay. I was going to say, wait a minute. All right. So we're going to lose to a creature. He's going to lose his creature. And then we're going to be able to attack the player with our second one. Right. Ooh, 
That's a... Uh, ooh, that's a 4-4. Four, four. We're going to get another land. Alrighty, we're going to have to play that. And we're going to attack all. Attack all. No, no, two, ah, I want both to attack. What did it say? Probably don't, tell me don't attack. All right, fine. I guess we'll listen to it this turn. No attack. All right, and we have a sorcery. Oh, that's great. So that is going to give his creature plus four, plus four. Temporarily, so it's probably plus four, plus four until end of turn. This is gonna hurt. Um, so that's the other nice thing too, is as long as the creature doesn't have trample, even if it only has a two defense, it will block all the damage. So we're gonna use, we're gonna use him to block. Yes. One blocker. All right. I mean, what do we got here? Uh, destroy tap target creature. Ooh, that. That'll be nice. Uh, like I said, that's it's, it's the first battle, so it's been programmed that we win. Um, but we're going to do that one. So when it says tapped, it means it's been used. So since he attacked the previous turn, his creature's tapped. He can no longer use that creature until his next turn. Just like you see two of our lands down the bottom left. Those are tapped because we used them to summon... Or use that spell card. So we can no longer use those two until the beginning of our next turn. And we are going to attack with all for three damage. Alright. What did he do? I know. I want to see. Alright. What is this? This is tap all creatures your opponent controls. All right, so. Yeah, so tap all creatures your opponent controls with toughness of two or less. Okay. So with them being tapped, he is unable to use them to block. So we're going to be able to finish him off. All right, one attacker. All right. And that's it. Victory. Ooh, Shaney. Unlocked a card. What would we unlock? Spiritual Guardian. When Spiritual Guardian enters the battlefield, you gain four life. Ooh, that's nice. All right. Good work back there. Thank you. I want to call you a certain name, but it's probably copyrighted. So, for those of you who are familiar with uh, a game with a little little boy who has a green hat and pointy ears and a little blue fairy. You should know what I'm talking about. All right, let's play level two here. All right. Mirbo. All right, really? Same two cards.
All right, we're going to play land. And it's going to end our turn. Ooh, and, okay, so these two have haste. These three have haste, which means they can attack the same turn they are played. Ow. Ow. All right, we're going to play a land, and we're going to play a creature. All right. Yeah, I want to block. One blocker. Oh, they, they're worth it. What the heck is with that? Alright. And then we'll... Alright. Ooh, we got another creature here. It's a 1-2. It's another, basically another throwaway creature. We can actually play both of them. Alright. There we go. Nice. We've got... We um, will be able to block. Let's see. No attacks this turn. All right. And we're going to block one of you. And we're going to use... You and then we'll use you to block you. There we go. Three blockers. Yep, cat's dead. Those two survive. And come on. Goblin grenade. As it as an additional cost to cast this spell, sacrifice a goblin. Goblin grenade, what does five damage to me? Is that what it said? What is that? Five damage to any target. Why didn't he... Did I just not notice it? I don't know. Interesting. All attacks. Let's uh, hit him for... Woo! Four damage. All right. Whoa. Come on, let me see. Fired. Another land. And that's a spiritual guardian. We're going to gain four life. Nice. Done. All right, we're going to... So... Oh, I want to see that card. Um, I'll attack. Do. Come on. All right. Nice. It's just our creature. And... Oh. Ouch. Ouch. Another spiritual guardian... All right, we're going to gain four life back. Let's, oh, yep, attack. So he's got a wicked high attack, but he's Brit like a he's built like a glass house. In other words, he can't take a hit because he's only got, he, uh, he's only got a, an attack of, No, why? Yes, buck. Buck. All right. 
And what are you? Destroy target tapped creature. All right, we're not going to do that yet. We're just going to attack and beat him. All right, one attack. All right, and that's two levels down. All right, we got two cards here. Knight's Pledge. Uh, let's see, Enchant Creature, Enchant Creature gains plus two, plus two. Sweet, uh, Enchant Creature, Enchant Creature gets plus three, plus three, and gain has flying. Okay, so the nice thing with flying is unless the opponent has a creature with flying, has a creature with flying, your creature is unblockable. And vice versa. If your your creature or if their creature has flying and we don't have any creatures with flying, then he's unblockable. So those are good to have. Alright. Let's I think we're gonna have time for one more, but let's see. Alright. Kalubi. Summon that. Come on. Stay patient and keep an open mind. Let me... Is it... Oh, it's... Is it his turn first? Okay, it's his turn first. Gotcha. Oh, and he freaking played a creature with flying. Of course he did. Alright, well, let's play the cat. Alright. River's favor. Enchant creature gets plus one, plus one. <sighs> At least he's going to end it quickly. Because <laughs> we have nothing... We have uh, nothing to block him with. Alright. Well, I'm going to... I'm going to wait until... I get my next, because I'm assuming I'm going to get the flying enchantment next. So, I don't want, no. I don't want to use that on my cat. Don't make me use it on the cat. You're going to make me use it on the cat. Goddamn tutorials. Fine. i use it on the cat. So, normally you'd want to use this on a creature that is worth something so like the spiritual guardian who's a three four this will make it this will make it a five six which is a pretty respectable attack but putting it on a one two cat is just dumb all right and i guess we'll attack all right And you're zero four. Obstacles may block your path, but do not lose sight. <sighs> Alright, let's play a land. Let's play you. Alright, and uh, attack. No attack. <laughs> All right. All right, so enchant creature. When water knot enters the battlefield, tap enchanted creature. Can we slow down, please? I'm trying to read the card. Jesus. Uh... 
Tap enchanted creature and eat enchanted creature does not untap during. Oh, so in other words, our elephant is useless right now. But we can. Let's play this. And we're going to. We've got four. I can't play that yet. All right. Well, I guess we're just going to boost our freaking cat here. Ridiculous. Oh, that wasn't the flying one. Oh, well, it's now 5-6. That works. <laughs> Get lost. All right. All right. I don't care what you have to say. Just let me have my turn. We can play that. Now we can play this. I'm going to gain four life. All right, I'm going to all attacks. And he's probably going to block. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's right. We'll be, we'll be fine. All right. Four, six. All right. Come on. So we're going to play you on cancel because you make, you give plus three, plus three. All right. Yeah. We're going to play it on the cat. Cause now it's an eight, nine with flying and he's screwed. Two attackers. Ooh, ooh, ouch. That hurt. That hurt. That's all right. We will be able to beat him next turn. I don't care. Come on. Shush, 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 shush. All right. And let's add this to the cat, because why not? All right. And attack, because his only flying creature is already tapped. Decker. Mm, and have to continue. All right, we got target blocking or blocked creature you control gains plus two, plus two until end of turn. That's nice. Cast this spell only if a creature is attacking you. Create three one one white spirit creature tokens with fine. All right, so what that one allows you to do is basically as it says. You get to basically create three meat, meat shields. That's all they're going to be in there to, to do is take the damage and die. All right, guys. But that's going to be it for this episode of Magic the Gathering. And we made it through three levels. We have two more to go, I think, in the tutorial. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the, the video. We can make a couple more at least. Um, if you guys did like the video, please like, subscribe, maybe say something in the comments. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you.